Hey guys, it's Anne Marie, AKA Ball Girl Will Travel. And today I'm gonna to share with you my favorite handbags for solo travel. And you can see them right behind me. I'm gonna walk you through these bags, why they're my favorites for solo travel. They're not my only bags, but they're my favorites for when I travel and why I recommend them. So who am I? I am Anne Marie, AKA Ball Girl Will Travel. I'm an HR consultant by day and an avid solo traveler all the rest of the time. I like to encourage women over 40, specifically black women over 40, and especially those of us over 50, to solo travel for self-care. I also wanna dispel the myth that women over 50 and women over 40 can't be stylish and fashionable while we travel team carry on. I am very much about minimalism when I'm traveling. I generally travel with a carry-on suitcase and one personal handbag. And so I like to show people how I do it and still have a little style along with comfort as I go. So let's get into my favorite handbags for solo travel. So let's get started by talking about my favorite bag for travel. And this is the bag you'll probably see me with on most trips, especially international. I usually use it as my personal bag when I fly. And that is my Louis Vuitton Neverfull. And this is hands down to me the best tote bag money can buy. Um, I have a larger one, but I actually prefer this, this medium to the large one. And my large one is pretty beat up now because I've taken it all over the world. I got this one uh, last year when I was in Florence. And I'll have another video soon where I talk about how I save money on luxury items by buying them overseas. But this is a recent buy, but I've had the large one the XL one for quite some time. Um, but this is the one that I travel with now. I really like this bag a lot because it's very deep inside and it comes with a clutch purse that you can just detach from the bag itself and carry. So a lot of times, unless I have an outfit where, with a bag that goes with a specific outfit, I just carry these two bags and I can just use this as a clutch when I go out at night um, or if I have a date. Sometimes I do have dates when I go travel solo. Um, but I will usually just bring this bag with the clutch and that's all I need. Traveling, I'll put separate things that I need to keep track of like my passport um, inside of here. Uh, and I will keep like personal items like that, the pens, things like that, I will keep inside of here. And then, and cash, um, if I'm not wearing a waist belt, and we'll get to a waist bag in a minute, I will just carry this, and I will keep uh, personal items, my headphones, my um, extra charging cords, um, things like that will all go into this bag. So it's my favorite, favorite bag for a personal bag when I travel. Um, obviously, this is in a price point that may not be for everyone. I, I worked very hard for a long time before I could afford something like this, but there are lots of other tote bags that are also good, and I will drop a link to a couple that I like on Amazon that I think are also good. One of them I'm probably gonna buy as a backup tote bag because depending on where I travel, I might not wanna carry this bag for security reasons or because I don't wanna draw attention to myself. So depending on where I travel, I might not carry this bag. I may carry another bag and I will put a link to some tote bag options that I think you can consider if this bag is not in your price point. But as far as I'm concerned in terms of tote bags, to me, this is the best one, the medium as well as the large. The large one is so big that it's actually bigger than what I actually need. So I sized down when I decided to get another one and I really like this size. So this is my favorite bag for personal item with my carry-on bag, okay? Now, recently I have also been traveling with this bag. And I really like this bag for when I am traveling on short trips, weekend trips, um, four days or five days most where I don't need as many things. So right now I'm traveling around Mexico, I'm hitting some beaches, hitting some cool towns that I've always wanted to visit. I have a list, so I'm going through my list, my Mexico solo travel list, um, and checking out some towns that I didn't visit when I was doing my reconnaissance relocation trips. And this right now is my go-to bag. I found this bag in the Amalfi Coast in, um, I think we were in Positano. 
So when I was trudging around Corsitano, I found this bag in a boutique. It was not expensive. I don't think I paid more than 45 to 50 euros for this bag. It's pure leather. The only thing that's not leather is the back of the straps here, which are like stretchable, which is cool. But the entire bag is leather. It's lined inside. It's very well constructed. It has pockets inside. It has a pocket on the back, which I really appreciate. And it's deep. So it holds a lot of stuff. So I have taken it on two trips already. I'm getting ready to go to the beach on a beach trip. I'm gonna be taking this with me, not the Neverfull. I usually use the Neverfull if I'm traveling outside of Mexico um, internationally, flying eight hours or more, something like that. But if I'm traveling inside of Mexico, more than likely, this is the bag I'm going to carry. The other thing I love about it is it's stylish enough that I can just carry it as my everyday purse or I can put it on my shoulders and I can carry it like this and it matches pretty much everything because it's multicolored, which I love so no matter almost what color I'm wearing I can throw this on my shoulder and carry it with me and so one of the things is you know when you're traveling look out for good deals if you see something that's a great deal grab it because this is you know leather it's beautiful it's well made and 50 euros, so maybe about 55, 60 US is what I paid for this, this um, backpack. And it holds, like I said, I put my headphones in here. Um, on my last trip, I had my iPad mini in here. I had my cords in here. I had um, two, two iPhones um, and other items that were not in my carry-on um, suitcase. They were all in here and they fit perfectly and there was no problem. So I love this bag for travel. Um, I'm not sure that I can link something similar to this, um, but I will see if I see something that's comparable and I'll share it with you if I do. But Italy is a great place to buy handbags, whether it's luxury or just regular bags because the bags, even the cheaper ones, are made pretty decently. So even if you were to buy it in a stall or something, I bought this in a boutique, you still get decent quality, but I got this in a boutique and so far I really like it a lot and it works well. It's got leather strips, but this part is stretchable. So when I put things in it, it, it holds it really well in the bag. So I like this bag a lot. Now, so these are basically the two bags that I will use for travel. Either this one for longer trips or this one for shorter trips. That's what I'm carrying right now this summer. That's what my, my car I'm carrying. now. In terms of when I'm just bags that I have with me, I usually will carry the personal item bag and then I'll usually pack a bag that is just for going out at night or hanging out during the day, usually a crossbody that I prefer. So right now I'm gonna show you some crossbody purses that I will usually stick in my carry-on bag and carry along with me and on a day-to-day -day basis, I will carry those bags and use them because I don't carry a lot of things on my person when I am traveling. If you've watched some of my other videos, I usually have a wrist wallet on my person or I may have a waist belt depending on where I am, but I don't carry a lot of things in a purse on my shoulder. I usually carry a crossbody if I'm gonna have a purse at all. And so I will show you the bags that I prefer right now. So I'm gonna walk you through really quickly the bags that I usually will carry with me um, as day-to-day -day bags when I'm on travel. Usually I'll bring one or two of these, usually just one, but it depends on where I'm going and how long I'm gonna be there, and it depends on what I'm wearing. So I am a feet first person, as I always tell people. I pick my shoes first, and then I pick things that will go with the shoes that I like that I'm bringing along. So depending on what I'm bringing along, that's what I will pick the bag. This summer, I really have been going with a lot of color. Um, I got this bag in uh, Porcitano as well. I think I got it the same time I got the backpack um, because I didn't have any purple bags and I knew that purple was a color I was going to be wearing this summer. So I bought this bag. I don't think it was more than 35 or 40 euros at the most. I don't think it was more than that. Um, I bought it. I like it a lot. It carries my phone, lipstick, you know, things like that that I need. It's good for just you know walking around. it You can carry it like this if you're going out at night or it has a cross body, which is how I usually wear it. So I usually wear it across my body like this. So I like it for that. And it's inexpensive, it was a great find. Again, uh, Italy trip find is this bag. Um, 
Another bag that I really like a lot is my mini um, pochette that I got from Louis Vuitton. And I'll drop the names of these in the video on the screen so you can see what the correct names are of the brand name items that I have. But this is a bag I love a lot. I spent a long time looking for it before I finally actually found it. It's been on a list of um, luxury items that I wanted for a while and I finally was able to get one. And it is a bag I like a lot. And if I don't just like it because it's Louis Vuitton or whatever, I like it for its utility. The bag, it's a double bag. I can carry it on my shoulders with this chain if I'm going out at night on a date, something like that. I can tuck it under my shoulders. And then if I'm traveling, I can wear it with this strap, right? So it's a really, I see it as a really utilitarian bag. I can wear it across my body like this, like so. And then if I don't wanna wear this strap or it doesn't work with what I'm wearing for the evening, I can take this strap off and I can just wear it like this on my shoulder. And I also can remove the smaller purse and just wear the bigger one out at night, which I have done a couple of times. So I really like it a lot because basically I got two bags for the price that I paid and it also comes with a coin purse, which I sometimes detach and just carry in my purse if I have a lot of coins. So I like this bag a lot. I always feel like if you're gonna buy a luxury item, it has to be useful. It doesn't, it shouldn't just be nice. It should be something that you're gonna use because for what these things cost, you wanna be using them. And usually if I find that I'm not using something, I will sell it. Um, I use this bag a lot. I love it a lot. I waited to get it for a long time because of the price. And so I'm really glad I bought it. It was a good buy. Um, and I use it a lot on trips. So it's the, I believe it's called the um, mini pochette, the, the double mini pochette, but I'll check the name. Now, another bag that I really love because it has a lot of good color and matches can match a lot of the primary colors that I like to wear is this um, camera bag by Gucci. Um, I've had this for a long time now. I probably have had this for like, I want to say I got it right when it came out. So it's got to be at least five, over five years old, if not seven or eight years old. Um, and it's held up really well. This bag has been on many, many trips. This bag has been all over the world and it only shows a little bit of wear, maybe on some of the edges on the bottom, but it's held up really well. It's leather. I like it a lot because it goes with black. I can wear it with red. I've worn it with orange. I have a pair of um, Gucci sandals that I usually match with it. I have these dresses that I usually travel with in the summer. Um, and I shared that in another video that I'll drop in the description, but they're like by Venus. They are perfect for traveling because they fold down easily. And I usually would pair them with this. When I was traveling for work, I used to carry this purse a lot as well because it's easy and it's a crossbody. You will see that's a theme with pretty much every bag that I have that I carry on a day-to-day -day basis. It has to be a crossbody because for security reasons, I need to see where my purse is all the time. I usually carry my purse right in front of my person. And I usually, depending if I'm in a crowd, I usually hold my purse like this. So I will hold where it opens and the strap together in my hand when I'm walking in crowds. Um, it's something that I, I learned a long time ago to do. And so I'm always really aware of where my purse is and I wear it on, my, on the front of my body and I keep my hand in it. I usually do not carry money inside of my purse. I keep it on my person instead, but there might, you, depending on where you're going, you might have to have your passport. I don't recommend having your passport unless you need to have it for a reason. Um, and there are times when you're traveling where you have to carry a passport depending on what country you're in. Some countries actually require that visitors have their passports on them at all times. So if I have to have my passport, I would have it in here. If I have um, tickets, sometimes you have to print out tickets to go to certain places, I would have it in here. But if I'm carrying a crossbody, I always like have my hand on where the opening is. So because there are a lot of pickpockets, especially in Europe, in certain European countries, um, so you have to be careful. So that's just a little side note about how to carry your crossbody. Because sometimes I see people with their crossbody on the back of them, uh, way on the side. I'm like, how do you know what's happening with your purse if your purse is all the way on the back? So keep that in mind as well. But this is one of my favorites for the pop of color and that it's a crossbody utilitarian. Um, and it's one of my favorite bags. Now, Another one that I often carry, and I often carry this for travel, 
long travel is I'll have this around my waist and I'll have my um, never full is this um, uh, belt bag waist bag that I got from Gucci um, I bought this in I, mean, I think I bought this in Florence and I bought it several years ago on one of my trips to Italy but I love this bag I have a couple waist belts um, from different brands but this is my favorite and the reason it's my favorite is because it is small and I like that it's small right and I usually just let it hang down so you can't see it right now around my waist and I wear it pretty snug so if I'm traveling on a plane um, I'll tighten it up and let it sit right around my waist so it's really snug um, it has a zipper in the back which I really like so I can put I usually will put cash right in, in the zipper here it's this way. I'll put cash in the zipper here and I'll wear it right against my body it will hold my cell phone and my passport so usually I will have my cell phone my passport cash in the back and if I have change or coins or a sim card I bought or something like that like I still have currency um, in here I will put it in the front and that's really all you need I like it because also sometimes on a day-to-day -day basis depending on where I'm going and what I'm wearing I'll take this and I'll wear it like a crossbody just like this and it's high up so I know exactly where it is all the time especially if I'm carrying my passport or something like that I like this bag for that and I will keep it and I'll put it up here but of course it depends on what I'm wearing it's got to match what I'm wearing so if it matches what I'm wearing for the day I like this bag a lot because I can wear it around my waist I can wear it around as a crossbody and that's something you can do with most waist belts maybe not all of them but a lot of them is that you can double it up so depending on where you're going if you're going to be in crowds or on a tour or something and you brought a waist bag put that sucker across your body so you know where it is all the time if you don't want it to be lower down where you might get distracted because you'd be surprised how bold some of these pickpockets are especially in the summer months which is pickpocket season so that's a waist belt again I bought this um, at Gucci you don't have to buy Gucci you buy whatever you want that you can afford I do not encourage people to buy luxury brands um, if they can't afford it so if you if this is more or you or not even that you can't afford it you just don't want to spend that kind of money on a bag which is fine too not judging so there are other waist belts that are nice. I will put a couple um, in the description so that you can look at options beside this. I also have some options on my Pinterest that you can look on. You can follow me on Pinterest and you can see my board with my favorite um, handbags and you'll see both high end, middle, low are all on there. The next brand that I really um, have recently discovered and I like it again a lot is Brandon Blackwood. And this is a black handbag designer. And I love his bags. I'm actually waiting for delivery of a pony leopard um, luggage. It looks, like a, it looks like a suitcase bag that he makes. Um, what I love about his bags, I got this bag recently. I have not yet carried it, but I'm planning to take it on my next trip. So you'll probably see me with it. Is it has a crossbody bag. I'm very big on crossbody. I almost always never will buy a small bag that I can't wear as a crossbody. So I love this bag. It has a beautiful bamboo finish around it. Um, and the price point is amazing. Um, it's not cheap because I don't buy anything that's cheap, but it's affordable and it's really beautifully and well made. And I love that it's a black designer. And he's from Jamaica, I think his mother's Jamaican, so the Caribbean connection is a plus. But it also has a bag, even the bag has the um, a strap, I mean, and even the strap has the gold finish on it, which I really like a lot. Um, and I'm actually going to open this up now so you guys can see it when I see it. But I follow Brandon Blackwood on Instagram, and I'm on his list, so when he has drops, I'm always like looking at stuff um, that he has. But this bag, I really like a lot. It's great for like cute night out option and in daytime, crossbody. Just put the strap on and use it as crossbody. Now, the only thing I would say is this bag is a little bit smaller than what I usually carry during the day. So I probably usually wear this if I'm wearing an outfit that really that it needs to be with. I have this black romper that I'm planning to wear it with. Um, and I have this black ensemble that's linen that I'll probably throw this on with as well with some sandals that have gold finishes on it. Um, 
I would wear this, but it doesn't hold a lot. It does hold a phone. I did check that. So it holds my current phone inside of it. But once I put my phone and a tubalistic in the sucker, that's pretty much all that's fitting in here. So this is probably a bag I would take on a trip if I had specific plans and a specific outfit that required this bag. Otherwise, I would probably not take it except for shorter trips here in Mexico. But on international trips, I probably will not take this one. When I get the other bag, I'll take a look at it. I might even share it with you guys. If you'd like to see it when I get it, drop a comment and let me know. And I will share my next brand in Blackwood that I am waiting for, um, which is the leopard box bag that I got. But this one's kind of small. So I will probably only use it for short trips, but not for long um, trips. Because sometimes I go on trips that are sometimes up to six weeks um, long. I'm going to Africa. I have an upcoming trip to Africa and it's gonna be between six to seven weeks long. So this is not a bag I would take with me to Africa, first of all, um, because it's too small. And I'm going, well, and I say I'm going to Africa. I'm going to three countries in Africa. I'm not going to the entire continent because that would take probably the rest of my life to do. But when I hit the continent for six to seven weeks, I probably won't take this bag um, because of how small it is. I'll probably take another option um, instead of that. But it's going to depend on what I decide I'm wearing. So that's this bag. And it does come with a dust bag, which is inside of here as well. And I do believe in using dust bags. So, and why? Because it keeps, you know, when they have your suitcase and they bounce it all over the place and throw it all over the place, you don't want your stuff rubbing together and your stuff getting scratched. And everything that I have is pretty much leather. Um, so I don't want my bags to get damaged. So pretty much all of them, including this, the ones I got in Italy, came with dust bags. So I always use the dust bags. I also put things inside of the bag, which also allows me to get more things into my carry-on suitcase i will stick i might put makeup in here i might put um extra toiletries i always make sure i use the inside of the bag to transport things on my trip i figure out sometimes i'll stick um a scarf in here or my um cover up for my bathing suit in one of these little bags but i never let them be empty so that's another little tip the last bag that I'm going to share with you is one you've probably seen me wearing in other videos or pictures on social media, and that is this one. It's also by Gucci. It's black. It goes with everything. Um, I actually got this bag here in Mexico at the Gucci store, at a Gucci store here in Mexico. Um, I took advantage of the currency um, fluctuation at the time. It was pretty good, and I got this bag, so I may have saved maybe a couple dollars on it than what I would have bought in the US. And I also was able to get um, the tax break for it. So it was a good buy. I was actually looking for something else at the time and I found it. But I like this bag a lot because it's black and it goes with a lot of different things. It has good depth to it. Um, and it's a crossbody. And y'all know already, I love a crossbody. Um, I don't love this chain thing, but I live with it because it's always getting like wrapped up and so on. So that's one thing I don't love, but it's a crossbody, which is why I like it. And so this is how you should wear it in front, as I explained, is where my crossbody's in front. So that's the last of my crossbody bags that I use for travel. So if I'm traveling, like I said, you're gonna probably see me in one of these. I have other bags, like I have probably two more of these waist bags. Um, but I don't travel with them as much because I really like this one a lot and I think it holds everything. The other two are actually bigger, um, but I don't use them as often as I use this one. Um, so now the last thing I'm going to show with, show you guys is three other bags that I just use for everyday things. Once in a while I travel with these, but I don't, I usually just wear them on a day to day basis, but I'm sharing them with you for two reasons. And I'll share that in a minute. So now I'm going to share with you guys three more bags that I just use for every day. And I'm sharing them with you because I really like them. And also because they are all made by a black woman who has a handbag business. I have been buying handbags from her for about almost 10 years now. 
I used to mainly buy clutch purses from her, but I don't really carry clutch purses from her. So I started buying her bucket bags because I love bucket bags for every day. Her bags are handmade. She makes a lot of, she also does custom bags. She has, her name is Courtney and her brand is called Love Courtney. And I think her bags are just beautiful. And you can find her at lovecourtney.com and I will put a link um, in the description. She also does custom orders. So some of what I'm gonna share with you are um, custom orders or that I asked her to make rather than um, put on the, um, they might not be on the site or they may have finishes that are different than what's on the site. I think all of these are available on the website, but the finishes may be a little bit different. The one I love the most is this bag, the Boxy is what it's called. And it's leopard. And if you know me, you know that I love a leopard bag. Because to me, leopard is a neutral. It goes with everything. So if you're in a situation where you don't have a lot of space for shoes or a purse, I always would say take a leopard purse and a leopard shoe. It will match pretty much everything. It goes great with red, it goes great with black, it goes great with brown, it goes great with blue. I've worn it with anything. Get a batch, a bat, a shoe in a bag in leopard, and you're good to go. So this bag is one of my favorite purses ever, and it's my favorite purse from Courtney. Um, I think it's just absolutely beautiful. It's utilitarian, it's all um, leather and pony. Um, I love the tassel. She does really nice things with tassels. And then I can wear it on my shoulder with this strap, or I can wear it as a crossbody, which I often do, or I can take these straps off and just wear it as a shoulder bag. So I love this bag. I love these finishes. I just love, I just love her work. Um, so that's the boxy. The other one that I recently got from her, the, the newest one I've gotten from her is this one. I don't remember the name of it, but I'll drop it in the video description and on the screen. Um, I actually ordered the size. You can order the size tassels you want, and I did that. But this bag is also on her um, website, and I'll put a link to it, but it was the orange that I wanted. I'd been wanting an orange purse for a while, and so I ordered this one from her. Um, I think this is called the Kiki, but I'm not absolutely positive. But I absolutely love this bag. It also comes with a shoulder strap. So sometimes I just carry it on my shoulder or I wear it as a crossbody. Most of the time I wear my bags as a crossbody because I just like to be able to keep track of them. So I like to put them across my body. But I love her bags that her bags all come with these straps that you can wear as a crossbody and you can take them off and just wear this, this bag and this bag you can just throw on your shoulder as shoulder bags. I think that's pretty cool. So this is, I believe is called a Kiki bucket bag, but I will check, I'll drop it in the description and I'll drop it on the screen for you guys. So when you're watching it, you'll be able to see the name. And then the last one is this black bucket bag. I don't, I, I don't remember the name again, but I will put it on the screen. I love the studs. I love that. I just think it's awesome. I think I got this for my birthday um, last year. I think I ordered it last year for my birthday and I love this bag a lot. I probably carry this bag the most on a day-to-day -day basis just because it's black. Again, I love the tassels, what she does with tassels. These bags hold a lot inside. They all have like zip pockets inside. They're pretty deep. Um, right there, you can see how deep they are. That's the, um, the sleeper bag that it came with inside. I love this bag. I wear it several times a week here in Mexico. I also, if I want to pop a color one, you know, on a day like yesterday, I think I carried this one. These are my favorites, but they're all by Courtney, black owned brands. So I have these bags here. I also have Brandon Blackwood, who is also a black owned brand. Right now I'm really into buying black owned brands. Um, I don't spend a lot of money on luxury items anymore because I'm on a different budget now. And frankly, I don't see the point what, for what I pay for one of the bags, some of the bags I showed you, I could pay my rent here in Mexico for like two months or three months. So it doesn't make sense to me to spend that kind of money on a handbag, unless it's something that's just so amazing. I probably won't buy a luxury brand now, unless it's something I really, really want. And I'll be honest, I had a list of items that I wanted and I have gone through that list. So I feel like I have the bags that I want now. So I don't really feel the need 
to buy on a luxury brand unless it's just something that's so amazing. And the bags that I'm seeing right now that everybody's even on social media and telling people to buy, I'm not buying any of those bags. So y'all not gonna see me on here with no Chanel. You're not gonna see me on here with no Bottega telling you that I just bought it because that's not gonna happen. You might see another brand in Blackwood. Um, and I'm always like looking at what Courtney's doing. I love her stuff. Um, I'm trying to talk her into making me a pony leather, a uh, pony um, camo bag like this one. So I'm, I'm, I'm working on that right now. But I love that she does custom orders. She does beautiful um, work. So you should check out her site if you want to buy from black owned brand and a black woman owned brand. I highly recommend Love Courtney. I have had several of her bags for several years. I could do a whole video just on the clutch bags that I have. I kept several of them because I just think they're beautiful. Um, but I'm really into bucket bags right now. I like crossbody and buckets because I can carry them on my person. I like waist bags for the same reason. So I don't really wear clutch bags anymore, but I do wear bucket bags. And if I were to get another bag, which is unlikely right now, I would probably get another one of Courtney's bags because I just love them so much. So that's my video about my handbag collection. I hope that you have found this video helpful in terms of knowing you know, different options for bags to travel with and to even bags for every day. Um, if you like this video, please hit the subscribe button, hit the com give me some comments, hit the like button and hit the notification bell uh, so that you will know when I drop another video. This is Anne Marie, Bald Girl Will Travel. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye, guys.